Welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright. Hello, I am Bright, the Chem Tutor. In today's video lesson, I will be teaching on the calculative aspects of radioactivity, whereby I will be using different formulas to solve different practice problems to enable us to understand this concept better. Now, you can see the first part written on the board. Now, the first part relates half-life and decay constant. Now, there is a formula that relates half-life and decay constant. Before we talk about that, let's quickly identify half-life and de decay constant with symbols. Now, half-life is given with the symbol T half. Decay constant is given with the symbol lambda. Now, there is a formula that relates both parameters. And what is the formula? It is simply half-life, which is T half, is equal to 0 0.693 over decay constant. Now, if the formula is not written like this, you can simply write it as half-life is equal to is equal to lean 2 over decay constant. That means lean 2 when you press in your calculator, it gives you this particular 0 0.693. So basically, you can use either of these formulas. They are the same. Now, it should be noted that the SI unit for the half-life, the SI unit for half-life is basically time. The S sign for half life is basically time in seconds, in hours, in minutes. Okay, okay, in seconds, in hours, in minutes. Okay, any of these time parameters. Now it should be noted that the S sign unit for the decay constant, the S sign unit for the decay constant is a function of the half life. Okay. The SI unit for the decay constant is a function of the half-life. Half that means if the half-life uh, SI unit is hours, what will be the SI unit for the decay constant? It will be per hours. Okay? That means 1 over hours. Okay? So that will be the SI unit. Or if it is not written as this, it will be written as per hours. That's inverse of hours. So basically, this is the concept on half-life and decay constant relationship. Now, let's quickly look at this first question. The question says, the half-life of a nuclei is given as 48 hours. That means the half-life of this nuclei, nuclei and take note, we say half-life is given with the symbol T half, and it is 48 hours. Determine its decay constant. That means they are asking us to get decay constant, which is given as lambda. And we already know a formula that relates half-life and decay constant. And what is the formula? It is simply T half, which is T1 over 2 is equal to 0 0.693, okay, over lambda. Now, let's infuse our parameter. T half. Now, we are asked to get the lambda, which is the decay constant. So, we make it subject of formula. So, it becomes 0 0.693 times 1 over half-life. Now, what will be our decay constant? It becomes 0 0.693 times 1 over the half-life, which is 48 hours. So, basically, we get 0 0.0144. Now, what will be the SI unit? For this particular question, remember I said the S sign for your decay constant is the function of your half life. So you can see now the S sign for your half life is in R. So basically, this particular value will not be in pair R. Okay, one over R or inverse of R. So basically, you got H R raised to the negative one. So basically, this is how to solve problems relating half life and decay 
constant. Now let's quickly move over to the second question. Now the second question says, the half-life of a radioisotope is determined to be two years. Determine its decay constant in per weeks. Recall the formula. The formula says half-life, which is given as T half, is equal to 0 0.693 over decay constant. Now, they are asking us to determine the decay constant. So, let's quickly make the decay constant subject of formula. So, it becomes 0 0.693 over half-life. Now, it should be noted here that the question says the decay constant should be in per weeks. And the half-life is basically two years. Now, what do we do? Now, we convert years to weeks. Now, two years is approximately how many weeks? It should be noted here that 52 weeks makes a year that is one year and they are asking us to get the value in weeks so we simply say x weeks is going to make two years according to the question okay because normally 52 weeks makes a year so we are asked to get it in weeks so we we'll say x week is equal to the two years so cross multiply so we, so that x week becomes 2 times 52 over 1, that is 104 weeks. So basically, this is the half-life now in weeks. Now, we cannot put it into the formula because if you put 2 here, you get a wrong answer. So lambda becomes 0 0.693 over the uh, half-life, not 2 years, but 104 weeks because the question says in per week. So, so when we hit our calculator, we get 0 0.0067 per weeks, okay, which is weeks raised power negative y, because the question says in per week, so we have to come back to two years to weeks. You don't solve with two years, because when you solve in two years, your answer you have to get will be in per years, but the question specified in per week, so we decide to come back to uh, weeks, sorry, yes, to weeks. So basically, when we do that, we get one or four weeks included as the half life and divide. So we get our answer in per weeks. I believe now you now understand the concept about solving problems relating half life and decay constant. I am Brian the Chem Tutor, and don't forget to subscribe and also share with your friends to help one another. Thanks.